The punter came over night. Yeah. Came in house. He, he wanted to go in the bedroom, but he wanted the light on and he wanted me bum, didn't he? Well, picture as well. He wanted me bum. He wanted to do rude things with my bum. A bit of pervert. I'm nobody thinking I'm some mug, I'll show them who's boss. I never thought I'd be happy to walk down here and see it beat, but wow, I felt like I were home again. They try to get to the roots of it, don't they? About things that's happened in the past and that, yeah. I'm not strong enough for that yet, I don't think. There is still a bit of a brick in between me and my family at the moment. They're looking after my children. I'm a qualified holistic therapist, aromatherapist, uh, aromatherapist, Reiki master. It's not like I'm just a, a down and out council estate commoners muck junkie. Do you know what I mean? I had one done in prison, believe it or not. And that's where I first started my training. Take your top off. Give me a massage. Please. Once I've sorted myself out completely, I want to be able to move forward and start doing this again. I'd still stand here and say working on the beat and being a prostitute, doing what I've done is, it is a lot harder than any job. It's not something that I'd say I'd want to spend the rest of my life doing, but I would doing this. Most definitely. I'm passionate about it. I like, I really like, enjoy doing it. It's something that I really am into. It's nice to care, isn't it? It's nice to be cared for, but it's even nicer to care, isn't it? Thanks is a wonderful word and all. For what? For that. What is wrong with you? Seriously? I am um, picking my clothes out for tonight. That one's quite nice, though, isn't it? And white catches eyes straight away, reflects in coloured lights. You need to look very different, like wantable, desirable ish, if you know what I mean. When I look the part or feel the part, I can kind of speak better, I act better, the way I walk better. Even though I wear the skimpiest and skimpiest stuff most of the time, it is like body armor. It's things that make you feel like you're that type of person. There's pink and do you know what I mean? Things that they notice straight away. I look at it as though if I was a guy driving round, what would I be looking for? And they want something different, definitely. They're not just going to drive around for what they've just left at home. Check I've got the Jarlex. Two, four, I've got five actually. So, five will do. When I'm out there, it's definitely not the way I am. I'm a false person, I'm different. Do you know what I mean? It is not who I want to be, it's not who I am. It's just what I am, in so many ways. It's what I'm having to be at that precise moment in time. <laughs> hate it when it's bloody winter like this, raining. Too cold! It's not as easy as some people think. Girls don't want to be out there, believe. Because you stood there waiting, you know, just sort of pacing back and forth, the cold sort of it's more so, you're just sort of shivering constantly. 
It's cold all the time. I knew I was poorly, and I knew that. Obviously, I knew there was something wrong. I just didn't know that it was pneumonia. I'm still quite chesty with a cough, and just being out in the cold, I'm just scared myself that it could come back and reoccur. So it, it, it's horrible, I hate it, I hate it. I'm just sitting at home debating, should I go out, should I go out, should I go out? But in the end, I've got to, do you know what I mean? It's just a matter of surviving, so I have to come out and earn some money. Just put on as many layers as I can just to try and keep warm, you know, my scarf and my gloves and my hat. <laughs> I probably don't look that desirable at the minute, but, you know, just try and keep warm best I can, and that's all I can do, really. They uh, give you methadone to get you clean. But is the temptation always there, though? Yeah, we'll, we'll always be there, but you've just got to fight that, haven't you? Occupy your mind and do stuff. I'm not going to say I'm not going to, like, ever use again, but I'm not going to, like, go completely back, because I just think, what's the point in going through all this for nothing? I don't know, I don't know what I want to do. I'm confused.com. I'm sick of waking up on a board and relying on drugs. Might not seem it, because I've ran away and got scared from them appointments, but I've got to face it. If I don't, then I never will. I'm scared. Like, 50% of the questions are about your past. And we all know I haven't got, like, a very bright past really i haven't had a good a good start and for me going into my past it's really upsetting so this is mine and stacy's little chill out tonight we're getting in the gym jams, Pampers duvet, false nails. Oh, we've known each other for years because I used to live up here. When, when I lived up here before... I just lived up the street. Yeah. She's my friend, she's like my sister. Everyone has their own way of surviving and getting through things, don't they? I'm there to support her if she needs me at any time. Kick her up the ass, <laughs> make sure that she um, goes to her appointments and make sure that she goes and gets a script from chemist every day. Some of the stuff is hard, but I'm getting through it. It got to a point where she just couldn't cope. Basically, her head had, was going and she just didn't want to be here no more. She didn't want to live, basically. I didn't want to be here anymore. Just didn't want to be here because I didn't. I felt like I lost everything. What was the point of fucking living when I've got nothing? And that's when I started saying, "No, it's not happening. You're not bailing on me." At the end of the day, I am. I'm going to get through this, and I'm going to prove myself. They are my children, and I'm going to make goddamn sure that they've got a mother to be proud of. And I'm going to make sure that my mum and dad are proud of me. I know they've all stepped up, they've all put their own lives on hold to raise my children. They've done what I should have done. 
but failed to do so. And that for that I'll be eternally grateful. And um, that I just hope they can find it in their hearts to give me one last chance. And I know it's been said time and time before. But I hope they can see that this, this time it's different like they did before when I was queen, prior to this relapse. It's just a little letter to kids that I'm hoping that my parents will um, give to them. Hi, my gorgeous little boys. I hope you are all OK. Sorry I've not spoken to you all or seen you all in a while, but Mummy's head's not been well. I hope you can all understand and I hope to see you all soon. All my love hugs and kisses to the moon and stars and back again and around you, you pop pops. That's just our little saying. What's the most important thing in the world for you now? My kids. Getting, getting contact back with them. Proving that I can do it. Proving I'm not just a fuck up. I'm not going to be another statistic. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's clever the life that I've lived. I don't. I'm not thinking it's good or anything. I'm not bragging about it. I've done it to try. If I can help one person not go down this path, then that's an achievement. If I can stop more than one person, then that's fucking fantastic. Obviously, I am I'm, you know, relieved that I've done it. It's taken a weight off because I've done it now. So, it's just wait, sit and wait. This is my bedroom now. It's not so bad, is it? At least I've got my own space here and that's a lot more cleaner. Oh my God, it's like five-star accommodation. There's hot water. <laughs> I used to live in hostel with a lad. And when I was at work, I've seen them driving round, <laughs> driving round the beat. And um, they offered me a place to stay, so that's how I've ended up here. They are all right, lads. They just leave me to myself, as you can see. They piss off out all day, and I'm just left to my own devices. He sniffs constantly, puts his nose <laughs> constantly sniffing. He'll cover the full fucking room sniffing, and it does my box, and it makes me mad. I know it shouldn't, but it does. It's just nice to have somewhere to be able to get washed and somewhere to sleep in it, but obviously when I get... Um, my own place, it'll be a lot better. I'm getting a flat, a one bedroom flat. It's actually not far from the beat, which I suppose is a good thing and a bad thing in it, really. I'm still poorly, I've still got this cough. I'm still on antibiotics. Your body just sort of gets to the point where you need to just relax and try and fix it. When I'm at home, I don't sit thinking, I'm going to go to work and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No, when I'm at home, I don't think about that. I like doing my puzzles and my, you know, my colouring box and stuff like that. Yeah, it just relaxes me. You know, that's my switch off time. That's my thing, that's what I like doing. So I sit and do my colouring box. I love them. This book, it's an inspiratory book, creative colouring to inspire your day. And it's got little phrases in it, you know, little sayings and stuff. But people rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they are doing. You know, just different sayings and I just colour in the pictures around them. I've done some of them in here already.
And believing in yourself is the key to success in all areas of life, which is true. Because if you don't succeed in things, it makes you feel like a failure. Not everything pans out the way you want it to be. So that's why as well I just try and take each day as it comes and just, you know, try and do what I can each day to get by. That's it. Will you make me an appointment to come in for an assessment, please, as soon as? Drugs? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And they'll do it then, yeah? Brilliant. Thanks. When I go really far gone with my head and what have you, I just lock myself away and try and either bring myself out the other side or, or not, or the inevitable. Because that's what it is for me. I'm telling you, it's just, it's just, a, just I, I think I'm just biding my time. Why would you say something like that? I don't know, because that's how I feel. It's just gospel truth, that's how I feel. That's how I, I feel in myself, I guess. I want to be clean, I want to have my life back. I don't know why I put myself through this. It was all right. Went well enough. It didn't get too personal, like I was expecting it to. Just like what's going on in my life. The next step for me, get myself on this prescription, stop using like as much, like like she said. Just and try and occupy myself. It's hard though. Especially when you've got a certain someone around you who doesn't want to give up. I want it more than anything. More than anything or anyone. 